If you've ever needed proof that human determination knows no limit, look no further than AOB Yilmaz aircraft. A contraption so daring, so innovative, that even gravity itself is taking a moment to process what's going on. At first glance, you might mistake it for a modern art installation, a next level science project, or perhaps a farm tool that took a wrong turn and ended up on a runway. But no, this, ladies and gentlemen, is an airplane, or at least that's the idea. Now, before you start picturing slick jets, high tech avionics, and wind tunnel tested aerodynamics, this is not Boeing, this is not Airbus, this is the rawest, most unfiltered form of aviation you'll ever witness. It's not about luxury, it's not about comfort, it's about survival. With bicycle wheels serving as landing gear, an engine that sounds like it's trying to quit its job, and a cockpit that offers as much protection as a plastic lawn chair, this plane isn't here to impress, it's here to exist. Will it take off? Will it stay in the air? Will it land in one piece? Let's find out. Let's start with the part that touches the ground, because that's where the plane has spent most of its time. Instead of sturdy, shock-absorbing tires designed to handle high-speed landings, Ayob went with bicycle wheels. Yep. The same type of wheels that struggle with potholes now have the responsibility of handling the impact of a landing. At this point, it's not a question of if they will buckle under pressure, but rather when. The first flight might also be the last, because let's be real, these wheels were designed to carry a kid to school, not a fully fledged aircraft attempting a historic takeoff. But hey, who needs reinforced tires? when you have confidence. Aviation engines are known for their raw power, precision engineering, and the ability to generate immense thrust. Aob's engine on the other hand, is more like a stubborn old lawnmower that refuses to retire. Positioned directly above the pilot's head, the engine is not just a power source, it's a hazard. One wrong move, one loose bolt, and the pilot might get a very up close and personal experience with the concept of overheating. And there's the real kicker there's no fancy ignition system, there's no button, no switch, no keys to turn. Instead, Ayob has to spin the propeller manually, like he's starting an old tractor. That means if the engine ever stops mid-air, assuming we ever get there, the restart process involves nothing but blind faith and upper body strength. Most pilots sit in ergonomic, multi-adjustable seats, surrounded by an array of buttons, controls, and safety systems. Aob, he welded what looks like an old classroom chair onto the frame. No padding, no armrests, no head support, just pure industrial grade discomfort. And while commercial planes have seat belts designed to keep you secure during turbulence, Elb's seat belt is, well, present. But let's be honest, it's more of a decorative piece than an actual safety measure. 
if anything, it serves as a reminder that should anything go wrong, you will be holding on for your dear life. Typically, an aircraft should have enough power to move itself down the runway. This one, not quite. To get this thing rolling, AOB actually requires a team of people to push it forward. That's right. Before this plane can ever think about flying, it needs human horsepower. It's less of a takeoff procedure and more of a group workout session. One push, two push, three, who knows? Maybe if they push hard enough, the plane will take off out of sheer peer pressure. Now, let's talk about what happens if it rains. Oh, right. There's no body, no roof, no windshield. If the skies open up, the pilot will be getting an unfiltered flying experience. A wet, windy borderline unbearable journey through the elements. At this point, it's not just a test flight, it's an endurance challenge. One strong gust of wind, and this aircraft might achieve its first unintended barrel roll. AOB Ilma's aircraft is not just an invention, it's an act of bravery. It's a middle finger to engineering norms, a challenge to the laws of physics and a love letter to raw ambition. It hasn't taken flight yet, but when it does, well, it's either going to be a historic moment or a very valuable engineering lesson. One thing's for sure, this is the most thrilling non-flight plane aviation has ever seen. So the question remains, will you take a seat in this plane or would you rather stay firmly on the ground where gravity still respects you? Let us know in the comments. Just make sure you are standing at a safe distance when AOB finally tests this thing. <laughs>